Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, a few days after we finished chopping here today, a few days after we finished the earlage, I guess. Uh, we've got a little bit of earlage left that was too wet. He's gonna come back here next week and we'll try to finish that off. We had maybe 20 or 30 acres on one field and then there's maybe 60, 60 acres or so on another field that the corn was kind of, it was laying down from how dry it was so it, it grew and then it uh, wasn't strong enough at the roots and when we got some big winds, some of it was laying down, they were unable to cut it for silage so we're hoping to cut it for earlage here in about a week, we'll give it a little bit more time to dry, the cobs were pretty wet still, but we'll, uh, we'll probably get some video of that if, if it does go, otherwise we'll, yeah, we'll see how it goes with that field. But uh, in the field here today that we cut, one of the fields that we cut silage on, this is uh, one of our own fields. Uh, we're making some, or cleaning out some ditches, I guess. The ditches were here already, but we're just cleaning them out some. I've got the laser set up. I'm in the little excavator that we have. Uh, we want to get this done here in the next day or so because our custom manure pumping crew is coming they're they've got some equipment here already they're planning to maybe start tomorrow or the next day and this field here is one of the first fields we want to start on so we're going to try to get this done today uh, my dad's coming to pick rocks here in a little bit and then one of our guys is coming to help me out here he's going to move the dirt that i'm moving away from the ditches we're not doing much. I don't know if you can really see that out of the camera there. Just barely taking, you know, taking some of the dirt out of the ditches just to make sure that water can flow in the spring if it needs to flow. Uh, I'm probably not going to do any filming outside because it's really windy today. But we'll try to get some shots of what we're doing so you can see what's going on. next day here um, back in the field that we were cleaning those ditches uh, in I'm, uh, I'm in the tractor now with a box scraper just leveling off some of the dirt that we pulled out and then uh, one of our guys is here picking rocks uh, my dad was doing it earlier one of our guys just took over here and, uh, he's got a bucket there on the skid steer uh, we don't have a rock picker for the tractor, but that's so that's how we pick rocks. Uh, there aren't many out here, but we try to get as, as many as we can or any that we see. See what I'm doing. Going here, just leveling off some of that dirt that we have dumped out here. You might be wondering why we're doing this now. Uh, so we just we took corn off this field here couple weeks ago or a week ago uh, we're basically getting it ready for next year's corn or next year's crop that will be on this field uh, we try to do as much as we can in the fall because we don't always know what kind of spring we have here and uh, in North Dakota it can be pretty cold it can be pretty wet in the spring so we don't always have time to do jobs like picking rocks or cleaning ditches uh, so we try to do as much of that as we can in the fall, which is what we're doing here. Uh, we'll also be putting manure on this field. So uh, manure is what we use for fertilizer for our corn. And we, what we typically do is we'll put manure on our neighbor's fields in the fall and our own in the spring. 
but there's a couple of our own fields that will get done this fall and then the, the rest that's close to the that's right around the farm we'll leave that till this spring trying to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Another reason we like to do this, these jobs in the fall is because it's usually pretty dry and it, that makes it a little bit easier to do, do things like this. When the soil is wet and muddy and we, we have pretty, we have a high clay soil here so when, it, when that gets wet it gets muddy and it gets sticky sticks to buckets, sticks to rocks, sticks to scrapers, so it's easiest to work with it when it's dry, which it, it's pretty dry right now. A couple days later, uh, we're in a different field here, we're going to work at cleaning out the edge of this uh, one ditch here right along the road. It's uh, Sunday today, just picked Ian up. And he likes to dig holes, so I'm going to take him with me in the excavator. We're going to work at cleaning the edge of this road ditch up here. Uh, I'll probably uh, set the camera down, then you guys can watch for a little bit. And that will probably be it for this video. The next video is going to be manure pumping. They're here already. They've, they've started on a field. Uh, we'll uh, show you what we're doing there here in the next video. Uh, So uh, my uh, my wife is editing these videos. She said that I need to be more steady with the camera. So I tried to do that here in this video. And uh, she said I need to use the microphone because there's a lot of wind noise. So you'll have to let me know in the comments if I'm doing any better than I did the first videos. I'm planning to shoot enough video to make a 10 to 15 minute video about once a week. Uh, You'll have to let me know if that's long enough. It seems like when I watch videos, I start to lose interest after about 20, 25 minutes. So I thought I'd try to keep them a little shorter than that. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments how I'm doing. And we're, I'm planning to sh try to shoot some of the stuff that we're doing outside here while the weather is good. And once we get into winter, probably focus a little bit more on things that we're doing inside the barns, things that are going on with the cows, uh, stuff like that. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you'll be watching in the next one.